This one says, hey, Doc, how do you cure athlete's foot that normal creams won't fix? Had it for well over a year. Okay, well, the trick to athlete's foot is to catch it before it gets into the nails. You, it gets into the nails, it becomes a major, major hassle. So the way that you do this, and I'm going to assume that it's not in the nails, is to start with a capsule called citricidal, which is grapefruit seed extract. You can take two of these a day, one in the morning, one in the evening. It's a natural, quote-unquote, antifungal. So you'll start to grow, you'll you start to deposit this particular medication into the skin from the inside out, and if, it forms like a barrier, and then it chases the fungus out. Then topically, you can go ahead and use the creams. My favorite one's clotrimazole, and to that, you add tea tree oil. Now, this is going to be the most important part of all. If you have athlete's foot, odds are you also have jock itch. And the reason I say this is that when you go to put your underwear on or when you go to put your shorts or trousers on, it drags from the feet. So you put your foot in, you start pulling things up, and guess what? You're going to auto-inoculate, which is to say you're going to infect yourself with the fungus in your groin. So you use something called a body wash. And for this purpose, you use head and shoulders shampoo, buy a big jar, take one bottle of tea tree oil, costs you about 10, 12 bucks, dump it in to the bottle of head and shoulders shampoo, put the top back on, shake it up. It's going to smell a little bit like furniture polish, but you use this stuff as a body wash and you'll keep it in check. The, uh, the dermatophytes are very, very common. You can get rid of it. It'll come right back because it's all over the place. And the next time you put your flip-flops on or your tennis shoes, you're going to inoculate yourself all over again because hmm. happy days, that's just part of being an adult. But if you use these body washes... Okay, you can keep it in check. You'll do just fine, and you'll be very, very comfortable.